Welcome to RecycleTech. RecycleTech offers a complete line of styrofoam processing equipment. This video provides instruction on how to install and operate the XT200, which is designed for small to mid-sized warehouse retail stores, electronic recycling centers, schools, and government offices. The XT200 is a compact and durable unit that can process 200 pounds of polystyrene per hour. We recommend installing the unit to a 220-volt, three-phase, 50-amp breaker box for safe and efficient operation of the machine. Under normal operation, this unit uses approximately 30 amps. The unit can even be mounted on a truck for a mobile recycling station. In either situation, when installing, place the unit on a stable, level surface, making sure to leave at least two feet of space between the wall and the back of the unit. Also allow for adequate working space at the front and right side to feed the material and for the output of the compressed material. To connect the unit to the breaker box, locate the 17-foot power cord at the top right of the machine back. The cord consists of four wires, including the ground wire. Connect the green ground wire to the ground screw in the box and connect the other wires to the lugs in the breaker box. We recommend hiring a licensed electrician to make these wiring connections. Once the unit has been wired, flip the breaker and turn on the unit by moving the power switch to the on position. It will take 30 minutes for the unit to reach operating temperature. The unit will not run until it has reached operating temperature. When the unit is turned on, the heating lamp light will illuminate, indicating the heating is on and is heating to the preset operating temperature. Once the optimum operating temperature has been reached, the OP lamp will become illuminated, indicating that the unit has reached the proper operating temperature. The unit will not start until the light is on. To begin, press the run button and begin feeding scrap polystyrene into the hopper. Once operating, the crusher should be turning clockwise from the back to the front. If the unit is turning counterclockwise from the front to the back, stop and unplug the unit, then switch the position of any two wires in the box. To access the machine motor, release clips on the front and side panels. Be sure the power is off and the unit has cooled before opening. Feed only fully dried polystyrene styrofoam. Do not feed other materials such as wood, metal, rock, or plastic vinyl pieces, as it will cause severe damage to the machine. Do not reach into the crusher chamber unless the unit is off. Any contact with the crusher blades can cause serious injury. Be sure the pieces you are feeding into the machine are small enough to fit easily into the crusher. As the material begins to exit the extruder, it will be hot and soft. Be sure to handle it carefully. We suggest using gloves and coiling the material. Routine, simple maintenance such as cleaning and greasing the unit on a regular basis will extend the life of the machine and reduce repair cost in the future. Grease fittings are located inside the unit. There are three grease locations. A fitting behind the upper chain drive pulley. Grease the chain itself. A fitting on top of the extruder. We suggest greasing the unit once a month. We also suggest checking the gear oil once a month. There should be no reason to add gear oil. If the unit is not extruding melted material, the connection to the heater band should be checked. Overloading the hopper can cause jams in the feeder, which will interfere with the unit's operation. The unit will also jam when plastic and rope get into the crusher. Before removing any material from the hopper, ensure the unit is off. Open the back of the unit and release the clips. Open the door to the crusher and remove any foreign material. Close the access panel. Be sure to lock out the power key switch. When properly maintained, the XT200 will give years of reliable service. The XT500 can produce up to 500 pounds of expanded polystyrene per hour. This unit weighs 6,400 pounds and is designed for continuous operation in high volume areas such as mid to large size distribution centers, manufacturers and electronic repair and recycling centers. Since the unit comes equipped with a conveyor system, loading material is fast and efficient. 
Make sure the unit is located in an environment where there is adequate space around all machine components. Electrical requirements are 460 volt, three phase, 100 amp service. Under normal operation, unit runs at 50 amps. We recommend a qualified electrician make the proper connections with the guidance of RecycleTech's engineering staff. The unit is easy to operate as all the controls are located in a separate control panel near the unit. To operate, turn the unit on from the main switch and wait for all three heating elements to reach operating temperature. The red number indicates the current temperature of the heating element and the green indicates the operating temperature of the machine is set to run at. The row of red lights around the temperature readout notify the operator that certain conditions exist, such as a door open, the emergency stop is on, the temperature is too high, or when the extruder, crusher, or conveyor is overloaded. The buttons below the temperature gauges control the conveyor, crusher, extruder, the three band heaters, and the air purifier if one is attached to your unit. There are three emergency stop buttons located on the conveyor. Two are located on the left side and one on the right. Feed only fully dried expanded polystyrene onto the conveyor. Do not feed other materials such as wood, metal, rock, or plastic vinyl. Do not reach into the crusher while the unit is operating. As the material begins to exit the extruder, it will be warm and soft. Be sure to handle it carefully. We suggest using gloves and coiling the materials that will cool and harden quickly and retain the coiled shape. The coils are easily stacked in a super sack for later shipping. As with all of our units, proper maintenance is essential to ensure long life. Check the belts and bearings regularly. Greasing the unit can be done by maintenance staff. Grease fittings can be found near the chain drive and bearings. There are three locations for grease fittings at the crusher, conveyor, and extruder motors. Regular maintenance and safe operation will go a long way in ensuring many years of service from this machine. RecycleTech also offers two other units, the XT400 and the XT700, designed to densify and process expanded polystyrene to fit your specific needs. For more information on these units, as well as the units demonstrated today, contact RecycleTech at 201-943-7142 or check out our website, www.recycletechno.com.